Hi everyone, a massive new development taking shape along the Cumberland River right in downtown Nashville. This project has been under construction for months, but tonight we get an up close look at what the new riverfront park will include. First on 5 News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is live downtown with new details on this project. Emily, what can you tell us about it? Well, you know, when you drive down First Avenue South here behind me, it's tough to get a good look at it and see just how big this project is. But the project manager tells me it will feature several attractions that are new to downtown Nashville. <laughs> Crews are hard at work at the site of the latest new addition to downtown Nashville. The number one thing that residents said in the 250 meetings we had was do something cool with the riverfront. Senior project manager Larry Adamus says plans for the new riverfront park aim to give people another reason to visit downtown. It gives us a lot of space to do a lot of things and we're trying to do it in a very detailed and unique way. At the center of the 11 acre development is a 6800 seat state of the art outdoor amphitheater with one of the largest stages in the world. And we positioned the building so when you can look actually through it when you're in the audience to see downtown. The amphitheater will be surrounded by about a mile long greenway trail, gardens and a dog park. In addition, there will be porch swings, ping pong tables, outdoor workspaces and flood walls. We call this the point. We think it's going to be one of the neater places to go when you're in downtown. You want to take a walk or have an event out here. I mean, the shots down the river are just pretty stunning. Adama says the $35 million project is a massive makeover for the old thermal transfer plant site and he hopes the result will be Music City's newest attraction. Our goal as a project team and a design team is to create a very fun place for people of all ages to come and participate in downtown. Phase one of the project, which includes the amphitheater and everything that's under construction right now, will be done this summer. Phase two, which spans from the Siegenthaler Bridge to the courthouse, will take a couple more years to complete. Reporting live in downtown Nashville, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5 HD. All right, Emily, thank you. While the official opening day at the amphitheater has not been announced yet, Fish, Steely Dan, and Elvis Costello are already scheduled to perform there in August.